Mountaintop Media's radio station, WPKE, celebrated its 75th anniversary on Wednesday, July 31st. Actually, with AM stations in this day and time, 75 years is a pretty good long time. So, um, 75, we're excited that it's still here, it's still going, and it's 75 years old. WPKE launched on July 31st, 1949, at the time exclusively broadcasting AM Signal. Over the years, the station has seen many changes, including the addition of broadcasting on an FM transmitter. Now, the station holds the title of The Goat in Pikeville and Prestonsburg, playing an array of music ranging from the 1950s to the late 2010s. We're proud to have been here for 75 years here on WPKE, serving eastern Kentucky, mainly Pikeville. But of course, since 1949, when we went on the air, we've expanded quite a bit. The Pike County Health Department invites you to come see them for your back to school and sports physicals, as well as vaccines. We are the vaccine experts. So for your back to school physicals, sports physicals, or vaccines, visit the Pike County Health Department today. Some of WPKE's accomplishments include a live broadcast of the launch of the Apollo 11 in 1969, coverage of Eastern Kentucky's massive flooding in April of 1977, and the ongoing live radio event Halloween, which began in 1972. I mean, when WPKE first went on the air, we were playing big band music because that was the music of the time. It's lived through the birth of rock and roll. It's lived through uh, the 60s alternative mu movement. It's lived through the disco in the 70s. It's lived through the techno in the 80s and the grunge in the 90s. There's so much that WPKE has gone through. Despite years of change, WPKE has remained a reliable and steadfast fixture in Eastern Kentucky's history and with hope will remain a pinnacle of broadcasting in Pikeville and Prestonsburg for years to come. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Fidel.